Alex is out and about and has decided to stop for a coffee while he does some people watching. Can I get a cappuccino, please? Or more precisely, bag watching. This woman thinks that keeping her bag by her feet, it's safe. She's about to find out that it isn't. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's a difficult bag to lift, but Alex is unfazed. Excuse me. Oh. I think uh, some guy just walked out the restaurant. I think he picked up your bag. You got your bag? Oh, He's just gone just down that way. I, I thought he was with you. That's why I didn't want to say anything. Oh, He's just gone in the second store down. I would go if I were you, because he's just taken it. And it's done. Under cover of a good deed, Alex walks away with the handbag and all of its contents. He drew her attention away from her left side, then covered her bag with his coat, and it was his. She even looked down at Alex's hands, but as her bag was under the coat, she didn't see a thing. He's just going to stand that way. He didn't even need to make a quick getaway. He simply got the woman to run off in the opposite direction to look for the phantom bag thief. My phone, my keys, all my money, my cards. And then I just ran after him, but I don't know who the guy is or anything. And the guy that told me that my bag has gone missing, he's gone missing too. Meanwhile, Paul's hanging out in this coffee shop, waiting for a handbag to come to him. And it doesn't take long. Perfect. This woman has a big open bag, giving Paul the ideal opportunity for a steal. And just like that, her purse has gone, as she's soon about to discover. Hidden up Paul's sleeve was a pair of barbecue tongs. As they're long and thin, they allowed him to reach deep into the handbag without being noticed. And so within seconds of walking into the cafe, she'd lost her purse. 